Despite North Korea's continued provocations, the South Korean government has made it clear that the door for dialogue remains open. But experts say that judging by its track record, North Korea does not intend to set the right tone or take advantage of such efforts from Seoul. Connie Kim has more. When Presidents Moon Jae-in and Donald Trump met for the first time in Washington, Trump supported Seoul taking the leading role in fostering an environment for the peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. But in defiance of the Allies, North Korea fired a ballistic missile on Tuesday, which it claimed was its first successful test of an intercontinental ballistic missile. North Korea's missile launch shows the regime wants to be the one to shape its relations with the U.S. and with South Korea. Pyongyang is saying that it will improve its nuclear and missile technology and from that position either talk or make war. While pressure on the reclusive regime is expected to mount following its latest missile launch, the Moon administration says it will not change its big picture on North Korea. That is, leaving the door open to dialogue, an approach that's also called for by many North Korea watchers in Seoul. The Moon administration came to office expecting to see strategic provocations from North Korea. It has agreed with Washington on parallel dialogue and pressure. In line with this, Seoul has taken a leading role on the North Korea issue. South Korea should not steer away from its current North Korea policy in order to prevent a sixth nuclear test or more ICBM launches. Seoul's North Korea policy has changed from the previous administration, but the regime's stated goal is clear, to develop a nuclear-armed ballistic missile capable of hitting the continental U.S. Many experts expect Pyongyang to continue that pursuit, which will put Seoul's diplomacy with other countries to the test as it works to deter the regime's nuclear weapons development. One important task for the new South Korean administration will be discussing cooperation with its neighbors and allies at the sidelines of the G20 summit in Germany. Connie Kim, Arirang News.